Hey, tell you there, champs, and welcome to the show. Well, the other day I got a package from a courier, and I was expecting this laptop, the Zeus ZenBook 3 UX390. I was expecting this. Now, when the courier come, he brought, well, there was an outer box, but pretty much this was the shape of the box. And I'm thinking, he must have brought something wrong. Like, this doesn't look like a shape of a laptop box. It's too small. It looks sort of like a shoe box, not as tall and a bit wider. But I'm thinking, a laptop can't fit in there, can it? Yeah, open it up and boom, have a look at this. Look how tiny this thing is. It is so small, thin and light. And this is who ZenBook 3 pretty much doesn't have a Windows competitor. Well, not that I know of or have reviewed at the moment. This is pretty much fairly and squarely competing with the MacBook. Not the MacBook Pro, the 12-inch MacBook. This is a 12-inch laptop, Ultrabook. Now, I would say it's an ultra, ultra book. It is really thin and light. And when you compare it to the MacBook, and please let me know down there in the comments if there is a Windows laptop that's a 12-inch MacBook sort of competitor. But when you compare it to the MacBook, this wins hands down. It is smaller, it is thinner, it is lighter. It is more powerful and it's cheaper. So it's like win, 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 win. It just ticks all the boxes. Now, first thing, when you actually look at this thing, you think, wow, this thing is gorgeous. Like it really is gorgeous. It is a sight to behold. I don't know if the camera will show how good this looks. The word that comes to mind is expensive. It really does look expensive. This one has this beautiful blue. It's called a royal blue, it's sort of like a purpley navy blue it's got a great luster to it it's just fantastic finish you get that signature exus swirl made out of aluminium you have gold azus logo here on the sides you have a bit of gold trim and even when you open it up the continuity continues there it actually has gold lettering on the keyboard there and the uniform color of the royal blue on the palm rest trackpad and keys pure class it really is pure class i mean this thing wouldn't look out of place in a model's hand walking down the runway in some high-end fashion show in london or new york or something like that on the bottom you have the rubber feet and two speakers this actually has four speakers i'll get to that later um, as you can see when you do open it up you're greeted by this gorgeous screen i'll get onto that later and it just looks as beautiful opened up as it does close very impressed with its design build quality expansive like you have to see it to believe it also comes in quartz gray and a rose gold so you might want to check out those colors and as i said it looks expensive it actually is expensive too in australia i've seen this at scorp tech for $2,099. They start in the US at $1,100. This particular model here is an i7-7500U Cabby Lake processor at 2.7 gigahertz, has 512 gigabyte SSD and a whopping 16 gigabytes of RAM in something so small, a 12 inch ultra ultra book and comparing that to the MacBook again, you can only get eight gigs on the MacBook. Super thin, 12 millimeters, 910 grams. This is really aimed at someone that needs something ultra portable. And in this case, very powerful. You know, it only has one USB-C, so it doesn't have lots of ports, but someone that needs something light, and you won't even notice this in your bag, it's so light. And it's great for productivity and stuff like that. If you want a game or, you know, maybe video edit it, I wouldn't suggest that this would be the best thing for you. But if you're just, you know, productivity, Word, Excel, emails, stuff like that, it does have the power to video edit. It'll handle 1080p footage, no problem, but it does have its thermal limits and the CPU will throttle a little bit but if you use it what it's meant to be used for you will have no problems and it's super fast it will kill a macbook and i'll show you the benchmarks compared to the macbook later as i said it only has one port well actually two it has a headphone microphone jack on the left side and on the right side you have one usb gen 1 3.0 port this model here actually had a dongle included or an adapter that has hdmi out has another usb type c connection there and a normal usb a connection fantastic that they include this also has a pouch too a quite an elegant sleek little pouch there and yeah keeping with its expensive look and classy design now being so light and thin you'd think the keyboard would suffer and 
I will say it's not my favorite Asus keyboard. It only has 0.8 millimeters of travel, but still, this is a much better keyboard than the MacBook's keyboard. And I definitely recommend you test this out before you buy it. If you really don't like shallow keyboards, you might not like this. And if you're someone that writes all the time or types all the time, you want to test this out first, but it's still a good keyboard. It's not as good as some of the other Asus keyboards I've used. Compared to the MacBook, it's much better. And it's backlit and you'll see it has that classy gold lettering on the keys there. The trackpad is actually very good for its size. It does feel cramped to me because it's such a small laptop, you, you can't avoid that. It does feel cramped because I have big hands. It also on the top right hand corner of the trackpad, it does have a, a fingerprint scanner so you can use Windows Hello. It's a great idea. It seems like a strange place to put it like on the trackpad, but it actually works all right and, and it doesn't hinder your tracking. I have never run into any issues with that. Works well, gestures work well. Trackpad is smooth, responsive, nice click to it, especially being on something so thin and light. Is it the best trackpad I've used? No, it's not the best, but it's definitely a decent trackpad. Now let's get on to this gorgeous display and I think you can see here how beautiful the colors are how vivid it is how rich how deep it's a 1080p display covers a hundred percent sRGB so you're getting a nice wide color gamut there and yes the MacBook does have a higher resolution display than this but on something so small a 12 inch laptop you don't want anything higher than 1080p and this next to the MacBook display looks every bit as good it's not a touch screen it's very color accurate viewing angles are great contrast is great it's just a fantastic display you'll be really happy with it now as I said this is like an ultra ultra book it's like really small really light and you can understand that having an i5 i7 in here you know it doesn't get hot but if you really push it you're going to get some thermal throttling it doesn't throttle a lot yes you'll get away with video editing and playing you know casual games like you know this is actually really good for playing football manager i love it for playing football manager csgo you're going to get over 100 frames per second 1080p no problem and you'll be able to play overwatch dota 2 you know casual games at a decent frame rate but you'll have to dial down those settings most likely 720p or you know really low settings on 1080p to get a playable experience there but for what you're going to be using this for really as a road warrior productivity fantastic it's super fast it does even have the power to video edit and compared to the macbook i mean this is just on another level here so i'll just bring up some benchmarks there and as you can see on the left you have the zenbook free score of 4223 and the macbook is 3303 so there's a big difference in performance there ssd is super quick too so super fast for everything you're going to be using this for that's more than enough you can actually upgrade the M.2 SSD in here if you want. So that's great. The RAM is soldered on though. So get the amount of RAM you want. You will not be able to upgrade it. Only has a VGA webcam. So that's pretty much what the MacBook has there. It's not very good quality, but it's there. And you'll get a video or conference call done if you have to do that. Its sound is fantastic. Four speakers. You have two speakers up here, two on the bottom really gives you an immersive, deep, rich sound. And it just feels like it has more oomph. Even that's such a small laptop, it's amazing. They get the sound out of this that they do. At its highest volume, it does distort. So knock it down to 90% and it's crystal clear and you'll be very happy with the sound. So battery life is fantastic. So I'm talking about web surfing, productivity, YouTube videos, stuff like that. With the screen about 30 to 50% over seven hours battery life. That's fantastic for such a small laptop. I think Cabby Lake processor helps out here. The battery isn't that big. It's actually only 40 watt hour, but it definitely lasts, you could nearly say all day battery life. Once you get over seven hours, seven and a half hours battery life my sort of benchmark is eight hours for all day battery life close enough it's very close so the cabby lake processor and obviously the display doesn't take that much power being a 1080p display so overall this pretty much sets the benchmark in this 12 inch ultrabook category i don't really know of any windows machines that are in this category certainly compared to the macbook 
it looks as beautiful as that as i said it's cheaper it's lighter it's smaller thinner win-win it just pretty much wins in every category so if you're after something very light very portable i'm just going to give this my tally ho top draw best in class award so that basically means this is the best laptop in this class 12 inch ultrabook i don't think there's a better 12 inch certainly not one i've tested if you know of any other 12 inch ultrabooks let me know there in the comments certainly beats out the macbook in this category so it gets my tally ho top draw smoking hot hardware here best in class and what more can you say it's the best in class so if this is what you're after productivity ultralight portable laptop that you can take anywhere and you won't even notice it's in your bag well this is the one you should get so that's it that's my review of the asus zenbook 3 ux390 if you enjoyed this review make sure you give it a thumbs up if you're new around here why not subscribe i've got lots more tech content coming soon and i'd like to really thank all you guys for watching your support is much appreciated and until next time guys tally ho